Hi everyone! Look here. I have some numbers. Do you know what these numbers are? They are a date. And not just any date. It's my birthday. Now, can you see what year I was born? I was born in the year 1993. Did you hear how I said 1993? This is the way that we say years in English. The numbers get into pairs and they repel each other like magnets. So they say their own name, 1993. Now, this is just the beginning of how we say the years in English. Now, let's have a closer look at some more rules. So normally, we say years as two two-digit numbers, 1965. These two numbers repel each other like magnets like in the years 1548, 1492, and 1776. But things get a little bit more complicated when we add zeros into the years. For years with one zero, we say O, oh, like in 1908 or 16, O nine, fifteen, O two, or twelve, O nine. Now, if we have two zeros in a year, we say hundred, like here, eighteen hundred, eleven hundred, nineteen hundred, or fourteen hundred. Now, in recent years, we have two options. We can say it like we normally do, 2010. Or some people prefer a long form, 2010. Both are good and correct. So you decide which one you prefer. Oh, and did you know? For three digit years, we say the first digit as a single number and then a two digit number, 752 or 861, 412, 623. So, when were you born? Maybe in the year 2010 or 2010? Or maybe in the year 2011 or 2011? Or maybe you were born like me in the last century, in 1969. Hmm? So now we are finished talking about the rules of how to say the years in English. So it's your turn to try the exercises. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.